Honorable Speaker, I present the interim budget for 24-25. The Indian economy has witnessed profound positive transformation in the last 10 years. The people of India are looking ahead to the future with hope and optimism. With the blessings of the people, when our government under the visionary and dynamic leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi assumed office in 2014, the country was facing enormous challenges. With Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas as its mantra, the government overcame those challenges in right earnest. Structural reforms were undertaken. Pro-people programs were formulated and implemented promptly. Conditions were created for more opportunities for employment and entrepreneurship. The economy got a new vigor. The fruits of development started reaching the people at scale. The country got a new sense of purpose and hope. Naturally, the people blessed the government with a bigger mandate. In the second term, our government under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister doubled down on its responsibilities to build a prosperous country with comprehensive development of all people and all regions. Our government strengthened its mantra to Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, and Sapka Vishwas. Our development philosophy covered all elements of inclusivity, namely social inclusivity through coverage of all strata of the society, and geographical in inclusivity through development of all regions of the country. With the whole of nation approach of Sapka Prayas, the country overcame the challenges of once-in-a-century pandemic, took long strides towards Atmanirbhar Bharat, committed to Panch Pran, and laid solid foundations for the Amritkal. As a result, as a result, our young country has high aspirations, pride in its present, and hope and confidence for a bright future. We expect that our government, based on its stupendous work, will be blessed again by the people with a resounding mandate. Inclusive development and growth. Our humane and inclusive approach to development is a marked and deliberate departure from the earlier approach of provisioning up to village level. Development programs were thus provisioned. In the last 10 years, however, have targeted each and every household and individual through housing for all, har ghar jal, electricity for all, cooking gas for all, bank accounts and financial services for all in record time. The worries about food, the worries about food have been eliminated through free ration for 80 crore people. Minimum support, minimum support prices for the produce of Annadatta are periodically increased appropriately. These and the, base, and the provision of basic necessities have enhanced real income in the rural areas. Their economic needs could be addressed, thus spurring growth and generating jobs. Social justice. Our government is working with an approach to development that is all round, all pervasive, and all inclusive. Sarvangin, Sarvasparsi, or Sarvasamaveshi. It covers all castes and people at all levels. We are working to make India a Vikasit Bharat by 2047. For achieving that goal, we need to improve people's capability and empower them. Previously, social justice 
was mostly a political slogan. For our government, social justice is an effective and necessary governance model. The saturation, the saturation approach of covering all eligible people is the true and comprehensive achievement of social justice. This is secularism in action, reduces corruption, and prevents nepotism, prevents by Bhatijawad. There is transparency and assurance that benefits are delivered to all eligible people. The resources are distributed fairly. All, regardless of their social standing, get access to opportunities. We are addressing systemic inequalities that had plagued our society. We focus on outcomes and not on outlays, so that the social economic transformation is achieved.